Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Linda Liu and Rachel Rines of Cockpit. How are you, ladies? Good. How are you doing today? Not too bad. How's the weather out in California? Beautiful, sunny, and lovely as always. Yes, it's wonderful. But too early. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's early for you. I, I just finished my lunch, actually, before you called, so... The Honestly, if, it, if I was on your time, it'd probably still be too early for me to <laughs> Well, yeah, morning. I've always believed mornings come too early, regardless of where you live. Uh huh. I agree with you. I, I don't think the sun should rise before noon. Uh huh. Cockpit are definitely creatures of the night. Uh, uh, yes, we are. That's ne not necessarily a bad thing. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, um, for starters, uh, for those who um, aren't too familiar with you yet, how did uh, cockpit form? You want to take that one, Rach? Oh, go for it, Lou. Okay. Um, well, Rachel and I actually met, maybe it was like six years ago, um, and decided that we wanted to start a band together and started working on some music, and um, we managed to find Terry after that, do an ad, um, and then we went through a couple different lead guitars until we found Alicia, and she was the right fit, so we've been uh, doing that as the four of us for maybe about, what is it, like two and a half, three years now, four of us? Um, how did you uh, come up with the name for the band? Uh, we we didn't. <laughs> the, the name was actually suggested by a friend of ours who heard of in the past named Down from Faster Pussycat. Okay. We're, uh, we're looking for a band name, and, and I called Tammy and was like, I need help. It's like, naming your band is so hard. <laughs> and uh, he was like, cockpit, easy, done. And I was like, right on. Here we go. Okay. Is, is there any kind of a story behind the name, you know, as far as, like, a meaning or something, or just something that he came up with off the top of his head? There, there are so many meanings behind it. <laughs> Cockpit is what you want it to be. <laughs> uh, the, the, to you. Isn't that kind of the old, um, standby, um, answer for the meaning of songs as well? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, you know what? It's worked for a few decades now, so why, why... Why uh, stop using something that works, right? Exactly. Um, now, a question for, uh, uh, basically for each of you. Um, when did you start playing your uh, instruments? And Because um, I know, uh, Rachel, you not only sing, but or, excuse me, Linda, you sing and as well as uh, play guitar. Um, and Rachel, yeah. of course, drums. Um, how long have you guys been playing? Oh, uh, I've been, I mean, I've been singing since I was a little kid and playing guitar since about 15 um, and then I never actually sang in a rock band until this band, when I came out um, and you know, moved to California and Rachel and I first started the band, we actually auditioned some singers because we thought that I would just play guitar and then it just, you know, kind of by chance it wound up happening this way. Yeah. And how long have you been playing, Rachel? I've been playing uh, probably like 13, around there somewhere, give or take a few. And, nice. uh, you know, just... Always loved music, always loved the drums. Actually, bought a drum kit and started playing because I had a dream one night that I was on stage playing and I woke up and was like, I can't deny this anymore. There you go. And it all went downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know if it's if you'd call it downhill. Uh, I mean, just not too long ago, uh, in Metal Edge magazine, you were uh, compared to the likes of Lita Ford. So that uh, that doesn't sound like going downhill to me. No, not at all. I'm, I'm being funny. But I don't hear you laughing yet, so <laughs> maybe it is too early. You just try harder. <laughs> too early to be funny. <laughs> oh, it's, again, not too early here. Uh, um, I understand you were uh, actually invited to uh, Rock Lahoma this year as one of the very few unsigned bands there. Um, that was been a lot uh, Rocklahoma, I can't talk, I'm sorry. <laughs> we had to go to Rocklahoma last summer. Um, we didn't go back this year. We had some other things that we were busy with at the time. Um, but last year we went and it was, yeah, it was a really cool experience. We met a lot of great people and a lot of awesome fans. It wasn't the best weather, but it was still a really good time. Now, the one good thing about rock and roll music is people don't generally care what the weather is. They yeah. really, really didn't care at all. <laughs> it didn't Brett Michaels tell us that at the show? He was like, it's going to rain. That makes people come together and rock harder. Uh-huh. There you go. He quite expected the stages to be rained into oblivion, but... 
Well, two of them did. So. <laughs> That would uh, kind of make me nervous going out there with electric instruments uh, in the rain. You know, the wind uh, blows just right. It, it is a little frightening when you realize the science that can happen behind it. But, uh, but we had a really good time. I don't think there's a band alive that doesn't have one good, like, there was a time I was shocked on stage story. I know. Everybody has a good electrocution story. There you go. I think uh, Ace Frehley is the only one that I recall actually writing a song about it, though. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Um, what are some of your uh, musical influences? Oh, boy. Um, Motley Crue, Judas Priest, Aerosmith, The Stones, like, basically anything that rocks. We, we definitely come, like, all of us love a lot of 70s rock, 80s rock, you know, but you could really find a good song anywhere. We're all, we're all music junkies that listen to a lot of stuff. Um, this next question um, may or may not touch some nerves, and I hope it doesn't. Um, obviously you're very talented musicians, um, our listeners are really digging the music, as are pretty much the entire staff, um, have there been any issues regarding, uh, the fact that, um, it's an all-female band, not to mention the fact that, uh, you're stunningly beautiful as well? Well, thank you. <laughs> um, there been moments where we've, uh, we've all sworn to each other that we needed to hire big security guards. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, that would be nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we haven't had too many, like, crazy issues because of that. We, we have the same problems that all bands have when when we tour. Um, you know, I don't think that they're really too much different than what any guy band goes through. I mean, I, I've, I, I've seen some guy bands that probably could use some big security guards, too, so <laughs> we don't have too much problems with that. Um, and when the van breaks down, it doesn't know whether a girl or a guy is driving it. Yes. <laughs> uh, there you go. Very, very true. And, you know, if you, um, as far as the music goes, you, you really don't notice anyway, so, um, because it just sounds like great rock and roll. Awesome. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, Our goal. A uh, perfect example of that came this morning. Um, our newest uh, DJ, uh, who goes by the name Wolf, um, he hadn't heard of you before, saw a picture of you on my uh, Yahoo Messenger, and um, wanted to know if that was who I was interviewing today. Of course, I said yes. And his typical reaction, of course, was, wow, they're beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, they rock too. And um, I let him listen to uh, Mission to Rock, and he was blown away. After, after hearing that, he couldn't stop talking about the music, and it seemed like your looks really didn't seem to matter after that point. Yeah. You know, it's funny because there's, there's definitely, like, some girl bands out there that, like you know, they ride on a gimmick, and their whole thing is a gimmick, and yep. and uh, we definitely don't do that. To us, it's all about getting out there and playing songs, you know? I've actually had the pleasure of seeing you on uh, YouTube, um, a few live videos that are out there, and uh, i got to say, you definitely know how to work the crowd as well. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's the best part of it. Well, um, since I mentioned um, Mission to Rock, um, why don't we play it? Awesome. Sounds good. Here's Cockpit with Mission to Rock, the title track off the new season.